Hey YouTube, it's Mark here. Just wanted to bring a uh, short Bible verse uh, reading to you today. Um, and I wanted to bring this to you to highlight um, that the supposed archaic English in the King James Bible makes it harder to read. I would actually argue that this particular verse makes it a better reading. I mean, I, I take the standpoint that the King James Bible is the inspired, inerrant word of God. But I'm highlighting this particular verse to highlight its superiority from a translation perspective. And I want to demonstrate that to you. So allow me to read you uh, John 3, verses 3 to verse 7. And uh, paying particular attention to verse 7. Um, and this is... Um, recounting uh, the meeting between Nicodemus and Jesus. And it reads as follows from verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Now, I'd like you to take a look at um, John 3 verse 7 uh, in your King James Bible. But if you have access to the internet, which I assume you do because you're looking at this video, also to take a look at some of the other versions that are out there. Now, this isn't strictly... Um, a Bible version issue problem, um, but it's an interesting fact that, from what I can tell, virtually all of these modern perversions, um, they don't use the so-called uh, archaic English, they opt for modern English. And you will find that this uh, verse 7, the ye is replaced by you. Now, the implication there is that Jesus is solely talking to Nicodemus. So the implication is that that truth is not available to us all. Now, the important thing that you need to remember about this, this so-called older archaic English is the these and the ye's. Now, when Jesus says, marvel not I, that I said unto thee, that part of that sentence, he's expressly talking to Nicodemus. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Nicodemus. Then he says, ye must be born again. Now the ye, he's not talking solely to Nicodemus. That truth is not only for Nicodemus. That truth is for everyone. Ye, you all, is the translation for that. So to give you um, <laughs> an example of that, which, it, which is still, I think, in use uh, in the UK in some places, we sometimes have town criers that get their bells out and they go, hear ye, hear ye. Now, that town crier is not talking to you specifically. He's talking to everybody. Hear you all. Everybody listen. That's what he's saying. So, the ye in this verse, in verse 7, is uh, an important um, use of that word. Because he's saying that to everyone. You know, marvel not that I said unto you, Nicodemus, you all must be born again. So he's not addressing just Nicodemus. Now, this isn't, um, as I said, it's not a Bible version issue video, but it's to get you thinking again um, about the language that's in use in your Bible. And uh, again, I know that most people look at this and go, well, I know it's for me. That's fine. That's fine. But there are a lot of people that read their Bible literally. Um, and there's also a lot of truth that just escapes people. And you will find that the ye's that are in your Bible are absolutely salient and critical parts of, of, um, of your Bible. And I just um, say to you um, that you need to sort of pay close attention to that. And just remember that the ye is for you all. So again, I mean, just looking down here and you see this, this interaction between Nicodemus and Jesus. And again, you see uh, in verse 11 where Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, talking to Nicodemus, we speak that, that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye, you all, receive not our witness. And again, there's a real truth to that. He's talking about everyone. He's not talking just to Nicodemus. At that 
you know, about that specific part of the sentence. So the E's are extremely relevant and they're extremely useful and they're a great, great way for you to mine this truth from the King James Bible, which you won't get from other versions. Um, and you'll see that wherever there's a ye, uh, it's rarely translated to you all. There is translations that does say it. There, is, there are some versions that say you all. Um, but the great majority, especially the NIV, just simply say you. So, you know, with, with, with that change, especially with the NIV, which is arguably the most popular um, Bible trend, modern Bible perversion that's prevalent in churches, there's a lot of truth that gets lost. And I just wanted to bring that to you this morning, that your King James Bible really brings this wonderful truth and, and, and directs it exactly where it needs to go. You know, the truth, even in a single sentence, it will be for this person, but this truth is for everybody. And you get that direction within even a single verse that you don't get in virtually any other uh, quote unquote translation. So I just exhort you to, you know, love the ye's that are in your Bible and the these and the thou's and the thine's and all these things. They are all perfectly relevant and properly placed to give you real truth. And you won't get it in your other version. So again, this isn't a, a Bible version, um, you know, issue. Um, it's a language issue. And I think that the language of the King James Bible, and you can take whatever stand you like on this, but I believe it to be the inerrant, infallible, true, preserved word of God in English. Um, but if you're not in that camp, and you like to pick and choose your versions and so on and so forth, it's still, at the very least for you people, a superior translation. And this is a salient verse for that, John 3, 7. And again, you know, you can read it and go, well, okay, I, I know it's for me, but yeah, but does it say for you? It doesn't. It says it's really, it's almost like he's talking just to Nicodemus. And he is just talking to Nicodemus, but the truth is for everybody. So just wanted to bring that to you guys. It's not um, a, a big issue. It's... Um, you know, but it's a very interesting issue nonetheless. I posted a video about has risen versus is risen. And I think that the tenses and the direction of of uh, the text within your Bible, I think it's, it's critical. Um, and you can miss a lot of truth um, if you don't have it. So I would argue that if you don't stand for the King James Bible, I would still argue that it's a better translation by a mile. Um, but I do stand for the King James Bible as the inerrant, infallible, preserved word of God. And this is just another reason uh, for that. So again, just want to bring that to you guys. Just take a look. And as you read through your King James Bible, just treasure those yees. They're wonderful. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.